Tiffany, thank you. Gardner police are looking for a man suspected in a possible abduction of two young women. The victims were approached by the man who was with an older woman. Jim Smith is live tonight in Gardner with the latest. Jim. Liam, Gardner police taking this case very seriously tonight. That's why they're trying to get the word out. Threatening skies in Gardner, but local police are concentrating on a totally different type of threat. Reports that two young girls walking in the area of West and Jean Street were approached by an older white couple who tried to coax them into a van. The children described the vehicle as a uh, late 90s, early 2000s red van, maroon type. Um, uh, had some uh, windows in it with some curtains. Uh, they were pretty specific about the description, so at that point, uh, we checked the area, uh, reviewed any surveillance tapes and stuff that were available for that area. Police are convinced the report is legit. They asked the children multiple times to get into the vehicle uh, and then did uh, flee the area after one of the children ran away. Russ Vallier lives in the neighborhood right next to a playground. He's now keeping extra vigilant. I think the kids should be able to go out and play without worrying. That they all have to be uh, grabbed and snatched. I get a grandson that's six years old, and I'm going to have to worry about if he goes outside that he can get snatched. That's messed up. Back in mid June, Gardner police investigated similar reports about an older man with blonde hair, this time in a white van, offering younger teenage girls candy, trying to get them into that van. We'll look at any type of connections that, that, that the previous incident may have with this one, similarities. Um, so, uh, suspect descriptions, things like that. And police also tell me tonight that they've already received valuable tips from the general public via social media. If you can help, please get in touch with them. Live in Gardner, Jim Smith, WBZ News.